Hey you guys, so first of all, I just want to apologize for not having any videos out for you. I've been really missing, literally a missing person on YouTube. So I moved out of my old place, my home, and I had to move all my plants also, and I finished moving them last week. So I had to move all of my plants. Like it's not that difficult to move me and my little things around, but when my plants have to be moved and all of my plant supplies, that's when it gets rough. And so I had to move all of my plants out. So I have most of them here where I'm at right now. Very beautiful, right? Um, I'll show them to you. And I do have a couple of them because I have my two cabinets at my boyfriend's house. So I have my greenhouse and I have my, uh, just my open cabinet. I think it's a Millsbo or a Vitzjo. I can't remember which one's which, but I have both of those at my boyfriend's house. And there's not many of my plants over there right now. I'm probably gonna move more, um, but for now, most of my plants are here. And they're all outside in the backyard, which is um, kind of stressful to be honest. I didn't really expect it to be that stressful because Southern California winters are pretty temperate as you may be aware. They feel very cold to me and probably to the plants, but they're considered temperate. And so I've had to move some plants that were in my greenhouse cabinet outside in winter. It might still be fall, I don't really know, <laughs> but it has definitely been jarring. So some plants are really not doing well. That makes me very sad. Um, and then some plants were already outside. A lot of my plants that were already outside are still struggling too. When I first started moving all my plants here, I don't know, I still don't really know like where the sun hits at certain times of the day. So I put some plants in like full sun spots, but I didn't know because I dropped them off so early in the day and um, silly billy and I didn't think about how the sun moves. <laughs> um, so some plants, well mostly one of my biggest, biggest orchids, my biggest orchid actually, it got so burned and I really hope it survives because it really broke my heart to see it like that and um, my fiddle leaf fig my fiddle leaf fig dropped all of its leaves my fiddle leaf fig that I rescued from Clarence I just killed it I don't know if it's dead I'm gonna try and keep it I'm gonna keep tending to it but it has no leaves at the moment and that's really sad mm and it's just like i don't know moving the plants from indoors to outdoors has been the hardest part and then also i feel like a lot of my plants are missing but that's not possible because i literally brought almost all my plants i know the ones that are still in my old room so they're not missing but i just feel like i don't have that many plants which is crazy i keep saying that i feel like i don't have that many plants but it's true um and then this backyard is kind of made for plants so i feel like i don't know i have a lot of small plants as you may be aware i have a lot of small plants and i feel like there are supposed to be big plants here so i'm trying to figure out what to do and it's really made me like oh my god i want to make my plants huge but this is not a permanent <laughs> living space for me so i can't just go and make all my plants huge everything is very up in the air and <laughs> i'm not a fan of the unknown but here we are so yeah i do really like it here like it's really beautiful it's very calm i'm on a hill a nice little hill as you may be able to tell so yeah i'm pretty much right now trying to rehab my plants find locations for them that's the biggest part finding spots to put them and last week it was extremely windy so all my plants were really dry and i went crazy on watering so i'm afraid that i overwatered my plants 
rule number one of winter is do not overwater your plants um but yeah a lot of them look very bad very bad and it makes me very sad carita triste for my plants right now um but yeah it is what it is and also i feel like i know more which plants i love the most <laughs> it's kind of weird how like I wasn't expecting like oh my god you're one of the plants that I love the most <laughs> um, yeah so sorry for being gone for so long and I'm gonna try to put out more videos this month because this is supposed to be plantness I don't know if that's gonna happen I'll try because I don't even know what to make videos about since everything is so crazy I don't really have a filming spot as you can see I'm outside on the bright side though, putting all my orchids out in the cold, a lot of them are spiking. <laughs> so yay for that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on right now. Please be kind for how my plants are looking. They're going through it and I'm going through it. <laughs> so, you know, that's just always how winter is, I guess. Anyways, let's get touring. I guess. Okay, so first of all, we've got cacti over here. I don't really think this spot gets enough sun for them. I'm testing out different spots for the cacti, but this is where they are for now. There's my plant supplies just sitting out here. Over here, I have a, like, oh my god, this plant is broken. And I don't know how plants keep on breaking, but they keep breaking. It might have been from moving around. Um, but these are climbing plants. I also have my anthurium here, which is struggling. The monsteras are doing fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, my orchid seems to be doing okay. And this guy is doing horribly. I don't know if it's gonna make it. I might have to unpot it. I really don't want to though. And over here I have some, I have my Hoyas and kind of like Hoya similar, <laughs> Hoya similar plants. But yeah, during moving everything, a lot of stuff got burned, a lot of leaves. Uh oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, point proven, a lot of leaves got burned and just bad things, honestly, bad things. Um, so I have more Hoyas here my there's more supplies of mine back there uh hoyas my epiphyllum and i made this little area you can see the plants are struggling i think it's getting too much sunlight my cebu blue there and a lot of plants this has happened to is they look dehydrated but i watered them and I know that means that the roots, something's going on with the roots, but I just feel like I don't have the heart to check, you know, but this plant usually like it's fine when I water it. So I don't, I don't know why this is happening, but it's happened to a lot of the plants. So I'm not sure, but I don't know. I feel like there's also bunnies i've been told that there's bunnies here so maybe they're munching on the plants they've definitely munched on some plants like i know for sure it was them but i don't know how like to what extent this damage is caused um look i over water this i took it out i let it lay there i hope it doesn't abort its buds um this guy hope it blooms yeah not looking too hot if i say so myself uh right here i put my big ums bro what happened to it i think being knocked around during the move is what really is causing all this harm but there's new leaves coming in so that's good that's really good and birds of paradise in southern california they grow like weeds, honestly, so I wasn't too worried about it. Uh-oh. Here's my eucalyptus tree. It was looking really good until I moved it here. It was good in my old backyard. And 
yeah, it's just looking very sad right now. I hope it can recover it. It might be getting too much sun, honestly. Um, and then my celloum. It'll perk up, I hope. <laughs> and then here is where I keep most of my plants. So you can just like spot them around. Um, this is where I was sitting. Some, a lot of these plants aren't mine. They were here already because like I said, this backyard is for plants. Um, so my plants are kind of just like surrounding them. My tree is not doing well at all. I'm not sure why. This is the orchid I was telling you about that I burned. It used to be so full and luscious and now it's very sad and depressing. I have plants here, all on this table. I have orchids and African violets and some other stuff. It's very messy. Um, we got all of these. You can see all the yellow leaves. I feel like some of it is from winter, but most of it is from the move. But everything looks so sad. And it's kind of gonna, probably gonna be harder for them to heal because we're in winter right now, which makes it even more sad. And look how beautiful this is. Just a bunch of hanging plants everywhere. Some of these are mine. Like, I love my Hoya right there. It's so beautiful. I also put up this, um, I found this and I filled it. And oh my god, there's a hummingbird right now. Um, they actually use it. Oh, this is amazing footage I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, they actually use it and I was so surprised because I literally just found it in a bush and I filled it with water and it's like they were waiting for it um so yeah there's a lot of hanging plants everywhere there's like a lot of room for hanging oh my god <laughs> my giant monsteras i just put back here just put my giant monsteras back here and i'm kind of sad they don't get any spotlight but they're so gorgeous and i have more plants here oh i also put some here it's just really not looking good. So yeah, I'm just trying to get everything back in shape. It feels a lot harder since it's winter. Like it feels sad. Like as you can see, it's gloomy and cold today. Um, and the plants aren't getting as much light. It's not the growing season. They're not going to be recovering quickly. Like they're not going to be bouncing back. Like I would hope for them to. Um, so the plants that are doing very poorly and the more expensive plants that I know need the cabinet are in <laughs> my cabinet right now. So if you didn't see them, that's why. Sorry, there were sirens. <laughs> my goal is to post at least two videos a week this month, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me through all these struggles. I will see you in the next one. Bye!